What's up guys? Adrian Emerald, 911 Gadgets. We're gonna do an iPhone 7 screen. An iPhone 7 screen, uh, a battery, and a screen protector. So let's check it out. All right. Yo, 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 let me turn my volume up. Hello, 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 That should be good right there. Um, how do I go to my live? Um... Let me see. Hopefully it shows it there. Oh yeah, here it is. All right, excellent condition. You guys, here we go. All right, so we're gonna change the screen on this iPhone 7. For those of you who, uh, who still need help with this. I'm just gonna keep doing live videos. I, I figured the more content, the better. So this one, the touch is not working on some areas. If you go here, like that three doesn't work. You see, all this side right here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, turn it off if we can. Um, let's try to turn this off. It won't let us because of the screen. All right, no worries. Let's start, let's tackle it. Take the bottom screws off. Let's see if I can get this a little bit. Take the bottom screws off. Can you guys hear me good? Okay. Uh, right now we're just, we're being preventive from the coronavirus, you know, so here we go. Take those screws off, get yourself a blade. This one's been opened before, um, I could tell, and actually he's a returning customer, so I know for sure. I don't use the adhesive, so if it was new, I would heat up, I would heat it up. And if you still wanna be safe, just go ahead and heat it up with a heat gun. Just go like this around it. You know, even if the screen's on, just don't hold the heat gun too long on there. All right. Oh, and by the way, I did this logo with uh with the laser machine. He has a pool cleaning business. It's called Green to Clean. So he cleans pools. All right. There it is. Let me get this tape out of the way. So it'll be flat, and I'm gonna put my screws over here on this corner. All right, so first things first, phone is still on. Even if it wasn't on, you still wanna get down to the battery first, okay? So you wanna unplug the battery. See if I can get my microphone a little bit, a little more uh, close to me. How's that guys, is that better? If you guys are watching, let me know in the comments if that's better. So um, I put the uh, the screw right there. I'm gonna hit onto my next screw. And as always, man, just be organized, okay? All right. Here it is. So this screw goes on top. I'm gonna put the shield by the screw so I don't lose my orientation. All righty. Uh, with my nail, I'm going to go ahead and unplug the battery. There it is. Right there. If you guys are watching, leave me a comment. Let me know if uh, if you can hear me good, if you can see me good and everything. Alright, so unplug the battery. That's that. I'm going to unplug the screen. And then this is a tri-tip screw. I'm going to need a Phillips for the top uh, camera. 
camera flex um, shield there you go put the shield right next to it so I know where the screws go all right let's go ahead and get this screen ready we're gonna take the small parts off and we're gonna go and just put it right here okay all right so go like this oh, I need the light on let me see all right I'm gonna transfer these things to the new screen okay guys Now some screens come with the back plate, some don't. I like to have and provide uh, the ones with the back plate already. iPhone 7 screen, battery screen protected. All right, there goes that, goes this, okay. Uh, let's go ahead and see our new screen. Where are you? Yeah, our new screen has a shield already, so I'm not gonna bother. And I don't put this on, guys. Um, I really don't feel when there's a need for it. So our new screen already has the um, the shield, okay? So we don't need to take this one off. Next, we're gonna go ahead and uh, heat up this top part right here. Now, for the 7 Plus, you guys wanna be real careful. This is a regular 7, but the 7 Plus, you have to be more careful and, and really uh, heat up this top part. So, we'll, we'll see when we do a 7 Plus. I should already have a video online about it though, so. Get your tweezers. Start from right here, there you go. Then you can pull from up here. I don't want this metal part. You see this thing? I don't want that. I just want the flex. Here we go, all right, that's that. My screens also have the little camera thing here and the, and the proximity sensor plastic housing. Put this to the side for now. We're gonna tackle the home button. You guys have any questions, let me know. Okay, let's go ahead and take this off. There's that. Here's this. And here's this. Um, copy this, let me send it to the Facebook group, Facebook group, um, see when ya, <laughs> alright, where you at group, I'm on computer, why are you being so slow? Manage groups. All right. Send it over to 911 Gadget Support Group. See if anybody wants to follow the live feed right now. Come on, dude. How do you do this? Oh, there you go. What do I got over here? Miguel Contreras. Just got your five-day curriculum and already put in my submission for the group. Miguel, enjoying video, by the way. Thank you, Miguel. I appreciate it, bro. Let me just finish with this, and I'll send you a shout-out to that group, all right? I'm going to approve your, your request, and I'll send you a shout-out so that people know where you're from and everything in the group. All right, so I got that shield out. There it is right there. And right here, you're going to – you see the cable? 
you see it, the flex cable is right here. So I'm going to flip it that way so it doesn't tear it coming down. So I'm going to go up. There it is. Okay, get this thing out of the way. This is the connector that goes on the screen, that comes with the screen. Let's heat up the home button. This is very important. Do not tear the home button. Uh, Ahmad Salam, what's up, man? How are you? Good question, brother. Yes, there is problems with True Tone. You need to use a device called iCopy, and you copy the settings from the old screen over to the new screen. Now, some suppliers already have done that for you. We're going to see if this one has done it. If not, I honestly, I've never had a problem with a customer coming back saying that their True Tone is gone. If it is gone, and they, and if they do come back and complain, then I, um, I do it for them. You know what I mean? So we'll talk, we'll do a video on that later. But like I said, I've never had issues with that. I, I personally never use True Tone, but okay. So that I removed the home button. If you guys didn't see that, you know, you can just replay it. Um, okay. So this one, we can't recycle cause it, the touch doesn't work here. So, you know what? I'm still going to throw it in my recycle just cause the LCD is good. All right, guys. As long as the LCD is good, you might get a few dollars for it. All right, so throw it in my recycle pe uh, pile. What up, Andy? Welcome back to another video. I'm going to start doing more lives. All right, so we got our, our new screen right here. Take this little blue thing off. And I like to start with the top right here. So you see these little holes? One, two holes. They go right here on these ta on these uh, little pegs right there. So one and two. Push down on it because it has like some glue. Then you go like this. You make sure that proximity sensor goes in place, man. There's a little housing, a plastic housing. Make sure it goes in there for sure. Otherwise, customers are going to be punching in numbers with with their cheekbones. There you go. It's in. Then the other one, the ambient light sensor, there you go. Perfect. Make sure it's nice and snug in there, not coming up, um, coming out. Put your speaker, you see the, the gold things right there. Hold it down, put the camera in the camera housing. You're welcome, Ahmad. Any questions, bro, I got you, man. If you haven't joined us, join our group, Facebook, 911gadgets.com forward slash cell phone repair training. Um... So I, I guess I can, you guys can hear me good, right? All right. So now this is the tricky part. You hold it down like that. Okay. Get my, oh, see how I messed up all my screws up here already? Sometimes the magnets. Oh man. I'm going to just go in my gut and just act like it's like that. If you really messed up the screws, guys, you know, be careful putting them back in. Because if you put a long one in the wrong place, it's going to go through the screen and you're gonna have something on the screen like a you might even crack the glass but most likely you're just gonna the paint's gonna come off you know luckily I think mine were not that messed up all right Some people ask me, what do you do when you, when you shake? Well, I guess I think I'm a little, sometimes I do get shaky. Right now I'm not that much, but I just go like this. I put my elbows on my knees and my hands on the table and I get more precise. You see that? Like that. I don't know. There's different tricks. Yeah. Audio is good. Thank you. LMJV. Is that Lemuel? If it's Lemuel, thank you, brother. Hope everything is good out there in Fresno. Or Sacramento, I forget where you're from. All right, there you go. So that, that top part's done already. We're gonna go ahead and poke in here because there's that plastic. So we're gonna poke in there and hold it with my pinky, right? And then we're gonna get the home button, stick it from the inside, from the outside, I mean, to, towards the end. There you go, see it's in there now. Let go of the plastic. I'm done with that. Then there's another hole here that goes onto a peg. But first, got to get that connector. Remember that connector that we saw earlier? There it is. Get it out of the way. Then get the home button on that peg. 
Bam. Sometimes they don't line up, guys. Okay, like right here, they did line up. When it doesn't line up, all you got to do is with something, uh, just push on the connector kind of inward and line it up yourself and then click it in. Just careful. Be careful with everything. All right, so that's that. And guys, there's a, my customer's outside. I'll show him this video. He's asleep, though. So that's how I'm working right now, guys. I'm, I'm, that's how I'm making business right now. I don't let him come in my office here, you know. I um, I just have him wait in their car. I come out with my gloves and everything so they know that I'm actually being safe, preventive, cautious. What's up, bro? Everything good? In Fresno, business booming since other shops are closed. I hear you, dude. It's true. What is grade A, B on Maya for screen recycling, bro? You know, grade A is like... If there's no spots on there, you know, and and also like the crack is just one little crack But if it's like super shattered, bro, it's that's more like a grade B grade C. I don't ever worry about it I just send it and that's it, you know How many years have you been replacing iPhones to be honest with you, bro? I started doing iPhones in 2016 so 16 17 18 19 20 going on four years but in one year, I, I really surpassed everything. I, I just really dedicated myself to to this, and and it just took me one year, man, to to f master everything. You know what I mean? And I was like, you guys, I, I didn't really know, but I just tried, and I broke a couple phones, and I just I just kept trying and trying, and, and just researching and being careful. Even now, though, I still look at videos. You know, like if I haven't done a phone, I go look at a video. That's why I tell you guys. It's um, it, everything's already on YouTube, bro, bros, and girls, bros and girls. Oh no, bros and sisters. <laughs> All right, so there you go. You put that home button. In. Right. What happened if you mess up the screws? And after, how do you know which one that that's the right one? That's right. That's what happened up here. If you mess it up, you know, especially up here, it's okay. Like. Try to find not not such long screws, you know, not not too long, because then they're gonna go through over here, and you're gonna be able to see it, you know. Um, if you can't really, f if you mess up the screws, just try your best, man, or or get a, an old phone and just take the screws from there. But if it's a screw that goes to the motherboard, forget it. Don't even try to put it back on, because if you really don't know where it goes and you put it in the wrong hole, you can mess up the the screen, the the phone like completely, and you have to send it in for micro soldering. They call it LSD, long screw damage. All right, what happened if you mess up the screws? All right, Fresno, good, everything Fresno. Yeah, business is booming. What is grade B? I already answered that, Andy. Uh, anything grade A is like more in good condition. Grade B, worse condition. Grade C, forget it, super bad. How many years, four years? How long does it usually take to fix an iPhone screen for you? For me, bro, an iPhone 10 is like maybe seven minutes, seven to 10 minutes. Uh, if I really wanted to and speed it up, five minutes. Uh, an iPhone 7, probably about 10 minutes, maybe 15 sometimes. It depends if there's complications, you know? All right, so this screen is ready. I'm going to go ahead and put the screen protector now, you know? I don't usually do that. I usually do it afterwards. Okay, we'll do it after. All right, and then um, I'm not going to put on the screen yet because I got to take the battery out. And there's some tabs right here on the batteries when they've never been replaced, Okay. But sometimes they're old, so I like to heat up the back, right? See the batteries right here, so I'm gonna heat up the back so they can become a little bit gummy. Otherwise, they tear really fast. I hope this one's not too old, that way it still doesn't tear, you know? They don't break that adhesive. All right. It's, hopefully we have some luck, guys. Let's go ahead and tackle this. Grab it. All right. My wife showed me something. That if you move side to side, it comes off a little bit easier. You see? I threw my wife in this business just like that. She didn't know anything. And she started fixing screens. And she even taught me something, bro. You know, she's taught me so many things too, you know? That one was good. It was nice and gummy. So I recommend you guys heat up the back. Especially on older phones. See, and don't pull too hard. You got to just take it easy first. All right. I love this one. This one was good. 
There you go. See? This is the old battery. Let's get the new battery out. Takes me three minutes when I preset screen. Quick phone repair. That's what's up. Quick phone repair, man. Do you have the uh, preset screen? Means you, you have the back. I mean, these little things are already on there, right, bro? I used to do that. But three minutes? That's sick. All right. Battery, same thing. I never put the same adhesive, the, the original adhesive anymore. I saved you guys the trouble. In case they come to your shop, they don't have to deal with those ugly adhesives, the, the super hard ones, you know? What I do is I grab the battery and I get some dual-sided tape. I like Tessa tape right here. You know, get a little strip of it. Okay, just a little strip. Put it right here. There you go. <clears throat> How long, how old did you find out that you want to make your own store? You know, I didn't have my own store for a while, you know, and I was 24 years old when I decided that I, I can just do business for myself, you know. So, okay, so there you go. It's just right there, right? I was 24 years old, man. I used to work everywhere. I worked at clothing stores, Pizza Hut, Domino's, um, Wells Fargo. Guys, I plug it in real quick just so I could line up the battery. But then I for sure unplug it again, all right? Don't leave it plugged in. And then when I was 24, bro, that's that's what happened, you know? I um, I ended up, you know, just pursuing the computer repair. From 2012 all the way to 2016, I did computer repair from home. You know, uh, people would come to my house or I'd go to... I remember driving all over from Hawthorne, California to... In the morning, like at 9, I had an appointment in Long Beach. Then I had to go to Carson for another appointment, 2 p.m., 3 p.m. Then I had to go to West L.A., then all the way to San Fernando Valley. I used to drive everywhere. And I remember one time I called my mom. I was like, Mom, I just it was like 10 or 11 already p.m. I was like, Mom, I just made $1,000 today, and I had never done that. And she was like, Wow, I'm so proud of you. And I'm like, Man, this is where the money's at, you know? I never made a thousand bucks working at Wells Fargo in one day. Come on. Um, anyways, let me see. Yeah, I do. Oh. Okay, yeah, that's cool. You can also buy extra cam bracket and ear speaker so it's preset for customers. Yes, sir. I'm coming. Cable, bro. I was miserable. Oh, you were doing cable? Like like uh, Roadrunner, like Cox, like uh, what else? Spectrum and stuff. All right, guys. So we got that battery in. Push down on it. This one's tricky for you guys right here, you know? It's tricky, so I grab it like this. There you go, see? Bam, plug it in. There you go. Plug that in. Plug in the screen, so the home button. The screen. And then, I guess I could do the battery now. Let's just do the battery for later. Just in case my hand slips and I touch something with the screwdriver when I'm plugging this in. Alright, so you see I have the screws in order. Guys, if you guys haven't subscribed to my music channel, help me out. I need more subscribers. I just have 11. It is Adrian... No, it's uh, Amrel Music. A-M-R-E-L Music. I only have one video, but I'm going to post a few more and then more, 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 more. All right, there's that. Do you buy used phones, broken? Bro, we buy it all. Used, broken, but it depends. It can't be too old. If they're, if they're too old, I just give them like a dollar to five dollars, depending on the phone. But I'm about to buy the 7 Plus that somebody messaged me about yesterday. It is a 7 Plus and... Um, it has a broken screen and I think he said it needs a battery. He doesn't have, a, uh, it doesn't have iCloud. It was his person, personal phone. We agreed on, uh, I think 95 bucks. So I'm going to put a new screen on it. That's going to be like $20. So 95 plus 20, that's 115 plus battery, 10 bucks, 125. And I can probably sell it for 200 to 250, but I'm going to make sure that it doesn't have iCloud. All right. Thank you, Lemuel. Appreciate it, man. 
why I don't like my old job. Uh, you know, I never liked, I mean, I liked my jobs, but not, not so long. Like I used to always like, man, I used to get tired real fast. And that's because I didn't like to have to, you know, 15 minute break. You know, I had to, plus I'm not even making that much money, you know, like 14 to 17 bucks an hour. Anyways, um, it's just not worth it, man. You know, somebody telling you what to do. You have a boss. You can't, you have to clock in. You have to wake up early because if you're late, you get ridden up and that could, you could lose your job. Like, come on, man. You know? Right now, I, I, I wake up early when I have an appointment. And sometimes I wake up late and customers get mad because I didn't make my appointment. But, but I try not to do that. All right, this is my last screw here. These are the ones I'm telling you. If you lose them, don't even bother trying to put them back in, you know? Okay, there you go. So here we go. Uh, for the iPhone X's, guys, you see these little cables right here? You want to help them and push them in. But not for the 7's, I haven't had any issues trying to push them in like that. So the top goes in first from, from bottom up. All right. Okay. There it is. And turn it on real quick and then I'll put the screen protector and I noticed sometimes with the new screen they don't want to turn on normally it's weird so I, I got to do is you plug it into the to the power source to the charger and then it turns on I don't know why but I, if it doesn't want to turn on guys just try to plug it in all right see how I put all my tools back why you don't like your old job? All right, Andy, I work for Optimum as a third party. Okay, so let's check that three. I'm, yeah, there you go. See, the three's working now. And then, I guess I can't get to the true tone here. If the customer was in front of me, I would just tell him, let me check the true tone. I wouldn't even mention it to him though, actually. But since you guys wanted to know, you know. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and put in the screen protector. And I'm going to go give the phone to my customers and I'm going to hang out with you guys for maybe five more minutes and answer any more questions. The guy's been waiting because I, um, all right, that one's kind of dirty. So I'm going to need to get, I usually get a little paper towel, spray it with a little bit of alcohol and water mix. Okay. Okay. I don't have an air compressor. I need to get me one or a little spray or something. Because I usually do it with my with my with my mouth. I used to go. But right now with the whole coronavirus, I feel kind of weird. But I'm not gonna lie. Let me just do it. Oh man, this could get tricky, guys. Oh man, see, I just left the streak right here or something. Honestly, tell me guys, should I not do it with my, with my mouth anymore? I mean, I'm really protecting myself, you know what I'm saying? I, I really don't go out. If I do, it's just for emergencies and then I, I cover myself, but maybe I shouldn't blow on it, huh? And this is probably, that's probably what, let's see if I can fix that. All right, guys, I'm going to go give a, uh, my customer his phone because I think he's getting a little impatient already you see <laughs> he got out of the truck all right I'll be right back and I'm gonna read all those comments so don't go nowhere all right um, I have the solution for that you know which is this right here but we'll see I'll be right back where's his case today you with me
All right, y'all, I'm back. Uh, let me see. Are you shut down? We'll talk about it in a bit, all right? I'm gonna read through all these comments. You guys don't go anywhere. It's just that I got a customer. So, um, yeah, so he's cool, but he said, I told him I could try to fix the, uh, you see that part? Where, where is it at? You see that? So this is my time to use a solution that I'm gonna make a video on. You see how it, sometimes you get these screens, the screen protectors that, that, uh, that give you that, um, that gap right there, like, uh, you see that? Like it's lifting and I, I throw a lot of these away. So let's go ahead and let's try this. I don't know how to use it, guys. It's my first time using it, so let me just let me do it on this side too. Honestly, guys, I might mess this up. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see what that does. It says, wide edge filling liquid for installing tempered glass, all right? See you guys, I work for Optimum. I'm I'm left out uh, where it says I work for Optimum from Lemoyle. Guys, I don't like how that looks. Hmm, what do you guys think I should do? When I have a bad batch of bad screens, but sometimes it's a tempered glass too. Yeah, man, I don't know what it is, but I mean, let me go ahead and. Try it again. It says a uh, white edge filling liquid for installing tempered glass. See that? Tempered glass gap solution. Let me see if I could just kind of stick this in there without moving the glass. Oh yeah, dude, I was supposed to do it like that. I messed it up. Look, you just go like this and it goes in there and it, it cures the You see that? Oh, that's sick. You see that, guys? But now I messed up the whole thing. You see how I just cured it? That's awesome. All right, uh, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Look at that, you just put it on the side like that and it just goes in there. But I messed it up right there, guys, you see? Didn't come with no directions or anything, so let me see. <laughs> Definitely need to order that. Did you see that, Lemoyle? Dang. All right. How much do you charge for this fix? Uh, honestly, for iPhone 7s, I charge $69.99 plus tax. Battery is $45. This is a screen protector I sell for $25 because it comes with a lifetime warranty. If they break it, I replace it for free. Better safe than sorry. How much do you charge for this? Where do you buy your iPhone screens from? Uh, you can uh, message me. Do you have our five-day curriculum? They're all in there, bro. Can this be a cash business? Yes, sir, it can. Are you shut down? No. Are the phone shops down? No, we're an essential business. What kind of solution is it? I'll leave the link in the description. Let me see. 
Definitely need to order that. Man, but see how I messed it up, dude? I didn't know how to use it. That's why. You see, even, even I mess things up um, pretty often. I'm going to go run and grab another screen protector. Just going to toss this one in the trash. I'm going to clean this real quick. I'll be right back, guys. Don't go nowhere, okay? There's that new screen protector. Okay, see how it's lifted from the top here? Let's try it out. What if they break the screen, you replace it for free? Nope. No, I don't replace it for free. All right, let's check it out. Ready? Hold on, customer's calling me. Let's see what he wants. What's up, bro? He said he has to call a customer. He has to get going pretty soon. Let me go ahead and try this real quick. He's got to get going. Mm. Yeah, it, it did seal it over here, so. Maybe it can't be too deep. He said, Adrian, I got to get going pretty soon. That's one thing I don't like, guys, uh, being rushed, you know. That's the worst because you can break stuff. I mean, I, I don't know, guys. I don't think the thing worked out too well. See if he's okay with it. Didn't work out too well. The last time's for the screen protector. If they break the screen, no. If they break the screen protector, yes. All right, let's see what he says about this, guys. Yeah, doesn't look too pretty, but we'll just see. Yeah, I don't know about that, guys. I need to play with that. So, you guys don't go nowhere. I'm going to just chill with you guys for a little bit, okay? Hang on.
All right, guys. There you go. There you go, 140. But I'm gonna put it on the floor and I'm gonna spray it with alcohol mixed with water. Yeah, because I don't trust cash right now these days. All right, so it's just, uh, it's now being sanitized. I'll leave it here to dry for a little bit. And then I'm gonna get back to you guys real quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. Spray my hands, spray my station. I'm tired of breathing through this mask. All right, I'm gonna read those comments real quick. Take this off. I wear it so that customers can feel safe that I'm not breathing onto their device, but then <laughs> Yeah, I guess I, I that's that defeats the purpose with the whole um with blowing onto it for to get the lint off the lint away. Alright. So let me read these comments real quick. Alright. Is this still a good business to get into for Anthony? Bro, mm -hmm. it sure is, man. I mean look, right now it took me what, twenty? 20 to 30 minutes just because I was on the video, but I just made 140, you know, after parts and everything, maybe like 120. And that was in 20 to 30 minutes, man. Um, so yes, it's definitely still a good business to get into. All right. Can this be a cash business? Yes, it can. Are you shut down? Nope. But I'm working by appointment only. And as you can see, I don't let them come into my office. Uh, are the our phone shops down? No, we're essential. What kind of solution is that? It's uh, I don't know what it is, guys. I, honestly, uh, might be some kind of glue or something. I don't know. It usually happens to me when a bad batch of screens. Yep. And yeah, that happens with a batch, bad batch of screens. Sometimes the screen protectors, but sometimes you waste like three screen protectors on one screen. So you start thinking, what could it be, right? Mm, I know it's itchy. Yeah, you need to order that. Hit me up on the group, and I got you. Um, where did you buy the? Yeah, Angela, are you in our in our in our five day curriculum group in our support group? I'll hook you up, or maybe if you want to reach out, uh, text me nine five one three nine nine seven nine one one. I just don't want to give you guys the sources here because everybody's watching, and it's not fair for those people who bought the curriculum, and I, if I give you the sources right here, right now, I mean, it's not expensive, bro, it's only 39 bucks, you help me out, and you're helping a lot of other people, because we're, we're a big community, you know, but if you get that curriculum, bro, 39.99, um, there, all the sources are there, um, Lemuel, you already know, you already got, you're already in the curriculum, in the support, so, I got you, <sighs> wait, if they break the screen, you replace it for free, no, not the screen, <clears throat> only if it glitches out, I give them lifetime warranty on the screen. But if it's cracked, forget it. Only the screen protector, you know, I, I sell it for 15 bucks with no warranty or 25 bucks with lifetime warranty. So if they crack it, then they come and replace the screen protector only. How many phones or tablets on average would you say your shop repairs a day or, or a week? A day, anywhere from three to six. Um, and that's just because I work from home. And I don't really want to shop because I already I'm too busy with a bunch of other of other stuff um, on the side. And uh, when I had shops, bro, I would do like 15 to 25, you know, a day. Think about it. If you profit 100 bucks on each of that, that's a thousand dollars a day. Thousand five hundred. Two thousand dollars. All right. That was for NBA. Thanks for tuning in, bro. Uh, again, if you guys haven't. Subscribe subscribe to this channel Like this video um, and then I have a music channel. I need subscribers on it's called Amrel music 
hook me up with a subscribe right there, guys. Um, all right. What is the lifetime guarantee for? Andy, lifetime guarantee for the screen is if it glitches, you know? If it glitches or anything, I replace our screen for free because our supplier will give us our um, a replacement for free. As long as it's not cracked or damaged internally, okay? Or if this, the flex cable is not torn either. Lifetime guarantee for the tempered glass is they can crack it and, and come back and they get a brand new one. But a good way to, 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 to kind of... A good way to kind of like not spend so much on, on screen protectors, you know, you might have some people that just want to come every three days, you know, make sure they bring the broken one back. Okay. How much do you pay for tempered glass screen protectors? Angela, are you in the group? Um, anyways, how much do you pay for tempered glass screen protectors? It varies, bro. You can buy some for 50 cents or some for three bucks. NBA, why did you retract your message? <laughs> yeah, I am solo. Good to see you staying safe, bro. Yeah, thanks, Anthony. Appreciate it. Angelo, what up? Andy Rivera, the curriculum is worth it, man. Go for it. Andy, thank you so much, bro. Yeah, I mean, I wish I had something like that when I was starting, bro. 39 bucks, bro, you know? And I tell you, save your money, you know, um, so you can buy parts. If you guys need anything, bro, I got you guys. You know, I'm always there on the Facebook group. These are my favorite drinks. Um, the curriculum is worth it, man. Andy, uh, a lot of valuable resources, not to mention a community of people like you in this business. Yes, sir. Shaolong Chen, do you hire people in your shop? I'm, I'm not hiring anybody right now because, like I said, I work from home. I don't take on a lot of business anymore because I chose to. But when I have a shop, yeah, I hire, like, a lot of people. I was paying $1,000 a week to one of my main techs. Do you hire people in your shop so you're solo? Anthony, as a newbie, I want to start with a mobile service. Would you recommend that? Also, would I be able to work with an insurance company to get work? Yes, yes, and yes. I started as a mobile service, man. I used to go to people's houses. Um, you don't need much. Um, I just have a laptop bag, you know? And then I have, for example, if the customer needs a iPhone 7 screen, I have my portable, these things right here. So I'll have a screen, battery, little parts in case something goes wrong. And then my toolbox, right? My, in my laptop bag. So I just take this. Or you can take your whole, your whole thing. Look. You see that right there? That has all the iPhone 6, 6S, 7, 7 Plus. The whole case has a bunch of these inside there. You can take that and you can be on the go anywhere. You go to Cardenas, Ranch Market, Bonds, and somebody sees that you have a shirt that says, I fix phones, or you just go up to somebody and they say, and you see their broken phone, you're like, hey, want me to fix it? I have my stuff in my car. Give them a business card that has your website. You have to have a website, a, a good phone number, some listings, so people can trust you. You know, like, okay, this guy at the store wants to fix my phone. What if he takes off with my phone? Well, you give them the card. Let them check you out on Facebook. Let, let them check you out on Instagram everywhere so they know that, that you're not going to run away, you know? So, yeah, I recommend starting as a mobile service. And then also, would I be able to work with insurance companies to get work? Yes, but probably with insurance companies, you're going to need to have like a, um, a, a business license, a permit, probably a LLC or something like that. Femi, what up? How's it going? Miguel Contreras, can't wait to study curriculum. Bro, my bad. Let me <laughs> let me approve you real quick, man. Uh, let me go and send you a shout out. But then you're going to stop watching this if I approve you now because you're going to be all talking to everybody over here. Let me see. All right. Where are you? I don't. Did I see? Miguel Contreras. There it is, bro. Miguel Contreras, Retail Sales Associate, Compton. That's right. You're in Compton. What's up, bro? Let me approve you. Miguel Contreras approved. All right. Let me send you a shout out that you got approved in CPT. I'm going to watch. I'm going to put straight out of Compton. Big welcome to Miguel. Oh, uh, straight out of Compton, California. Let's grow. Let's grow, baby. Big welcome to Miguel Strata Compton, California. 
Let's grow. I'm going to tag you real quick. Miguel Contreras. There's already three Miguels in the group. Miguel Rios, Miguel Camarena, Miguel Contreras. There you go, brother. Post it. Right. Post. How do you post it? <laughs> oh, there it is. All right. I usually do it from my phone. That's why. Bam. All right, bro. There you go. I just approved you. Can't wait to study. Miguel, there you go, man. Don't leave us, though. There's 10 people still watching. What happened to your shop? Did you shut it down? I actually sold my shops, bro. Um, I sold them, and you, just, you need to have a POS, bro, you know? You need to have a POS uh, so you can show, you know, potential buyers, like, how much you made and all that. I still have a POS right here, which, matter of fact, I got to add this guy to the his receipt. I didn't give him one because he rushed me. But um, how do you make website? There's different ways. You can do it through Wix. Um, or you can go through any like website host, like domain.com. They have little drag and drop um, like website builders. Uh, if you want to get to know a little bit more about WordPress, though, that's a different type of making a, a website. Uh, it's pretty easy. You just got to study a little bit. Not, not too much, you know. So... All right, Miguel, that's what's up. Got 11 people watching. So I'm going to make my lives one hour. How about that? Unless I'm in a hurry or something. But So it's 52, 53 minutes in. What happened to your shop? Okay, can't wait to study. How's it going? Femi, what up, Femi? All right, Miguel Contreras. Thanks, brother. Let's do it. Still here. That's what's up. Lemuel, uh, I have decals on my car. And literally people come up to my car and ask me how much time it'll take me i say no more than five minutes they give me their phone right away that's right what pos do you use is it easy to learn bro the pos i use is called quickbooks um and i, I kind of put all my products in there um uh, i edit it myself but yeah it's easy to learn um i was actually thinking of creating a pos and you know subscribe people you know every month make it simple so we'll see about that I have decals on my car and literally people come, yeah, bro. Yeah, you guys need to put, you know, when I started this business, the computer repair, I uh, I put we fix computers and then my phone number, people would just come up to me too, just like Lamar said. My first customer was an older man who said, hey, I've been waiting for you at the bank. You know, he was waiting for me outside. Can you come to my house to fix my printer? Boom. I just downloaded a driver, set up a couple little things for him. He paid me a hundred bucks. Got to go work now. Bye, man. Stay safe. All right, Shao Long. Thank you, brother. Anybody else have some questions? We got about five more minutes. And uh, Shao Long, I think you were a part of the group already. If you're not, join there. I'll help you making your website. If you are, send me a message. All righty, all righty. Is it weird looking over here? No, that's cool. <sighs> so yeah, guys, that was an iPhone 7 screen, iPhone 7 battery, and iPhone 7 screen protector. We tried using this solution. I didn't really know how to use it, so I'm going to play with it. That's the first time I tried it. Like I said, I'm very transparent, guys. I don't sugarcoat anything. Whatever it is, you know, I'm I'm real, you know. Any good videos on micro soldering? I got started watching Jessa Jones. Check her out. Jessa Jones uh, for micro soldering. You know, she can... Uh, yeah, she has a class that's pretty pricey, but, I mean, it's worth it because she'll teach you everything that I wish I knew, you know. I just didn't want to pay $3,000. Um, if I can give you any advice... Probably just uh, reach out to me. I'll I'll tell you what you need to buy. I'm gonna make required tools, which is which is all this stuff right there. You know the, the microscope, uh, the soldering stuff. You know, like this thing too to hold the motherboards. Um, again, if you're gonna get into micro soldering, it's kind of hard to do everything at once, right? Micro soldering and screen repairs and everything. You probably need to focus on one thing or the other. Micro soldering is one thing and. and the rest general stuff, that's another, okay? Uh, any good videos on Microsoft or Jessica Jones, okay? Um, 
what does the training for 249 include? The training for 249 includes me and you personally, like this, uh, going, uh, you know, talking and yeah, okay, did you get it done? All right, so look, this is what happened. You gotta do this. So we go through the curriculum in real time, me and you together. Uh, sometimes it takes four hours, sometimes two hours, sometimes six. As long as we go through the curriculum and I answer all of your questions, you know? Um, and then we, we open a phone, a couple of phones. If you have a request, you want to do an iPad, I'll get an iPad, I'll open it for you. So basically everything in real time, I'll do it with you. That's what the 249 is. Was it always a plan to sell all your shops? Uh, never, bro. I never planned on it. Um, I just got blessed, you know, that, um, you know, we moved out to uh, about an hour away from L.A. and... And somebody offered me money for my shop. So I was like, so blessed. Perfect. And I thought about opening more shops and selling them because it's so easy. You can just open a brand new shop, get customers real fast because that's how this business is. And just make sure you have everything written down, how much it's making. And you can probably sell it. Not probably. For sure you can sell it. What does the training for 249 include? Already mentioned, already answered that. Was it always a plan to sell? No, it wasn't a plan. NBA, where are you from, man? And then if you work, I got three minutes left. If you work for insurance companies, can you get the work mailed to you? Of course. Yes, sir. You can get it mailed to you. I get a lot of stuff mailed to me now. And I don't work for insurances, though. You know, if you work for insurance company, okay. Rossman, too. Yeah, Louis Rossman, bro. He's pretty good. I think he's more into like MacBooks and stuff like that. But that yeah, definitely he's a good one. I hate you. Number one marketing scheme. I hate you. What? Roger Norwood. I hate you. Number one marketing scheme. I ha I gave you number one marketing scheme. Uh, can you elaborate more, Roger? A Angelo Salazar. What new things are coming out for cell phone to make more money? What new things? Well, there's always been screen recycling, um, refurbishing. That's not really new, but new... That I could think of. I think everything's pretty much the same, you know, besides new phones. iPhone 12 coming out. I think an iPhone 9 coming out. Um, unlocking has always been there. You know, you can make money unlocking phones. I, lo I got locked out of my own Android right here. And I tried everything. It just doesn't want to let me in. So I'm going to have to call one of my contacts, one of our contacts. And what I'll do is I'll plug it in. And he'll just connect to my computer and unlock it for me for like 10, 10 bucks, 15 bucks. If it was for a customer, we charge like 69 plus tax or just 70 bucks, 75, but we only paid $15, you know? All right. We're about down, uh, down. We're about down here. We're about done here, guys. What type of iPhones do you do screen repairs for the most? iPhone X and iPhone 7s. Those are the most common ones. And the XRs also. Yeah, those are the most common. iPhone 7s, uh, X, and XR. Definitely. All right, we hit the hour marker, people. Uh, I'll answer maybe just one more question. Anybody else has, has one more question? And um, do you guys like the videos? Do you guys like the lives? Should I keep doing lives? Um, yeah, I'm going to write down a que the three questions I have before I go. All right. Okay. Keep doing one hour lives. Uh, music in the background. And what else did I have? What brings the most traffic through your door? <laughs> Okay, got it. What you number? What is my number one? Okay, what brings my most traffic to my door? My Yelp and my Google page. Yep, people need to be able to find you on Yelp and on Google, guys, and have good reviews, right? So that brings the most traffic to my page, to my place. Keep doing one hour lives music. Okay, that was me. <laughs> Do you ever mess up Face ID on iPhone X? 
Um, I've only messed it up one time, and I was in a hurry, okay? And I didn't heat up the face, um, what is it, the... What was it? I forgot what it was. I didn't heat up the part where like, you gotta remove it, so it tore. I tore the thing, man, and I sent it into a friend, um, and he couldn't fix it. You know, he's. I don't have time for this stuff, for the microsoldering sometimes and stuff. I had never done the face ID, you know, I had never done those. So, um, yeah, I messed it up. Customer said it was all right, thankfully, you know, but I've had to replace phones before. Lives are fire. I wrote notes. LOL. <laughs> All right, cool, bro. I'll keep doing some lives, man. I think I'm going to start doing them. All right. NBA, when do we know the lives are going to be? Uh, good question, bro. Good question. Why don't we do this? You guys all uh, turn on your notifications. All right. And um, before I go live, I'm going to I'm gonna do like a... 20 minute, like it's going to pop up going live in 20 minutes. I think I can do that. So you're going to get the notification and that way, you know, unless you guys, yeah, I, I, I would do like a consistent, um, like a schedule, but since I want to be fixing stuff, you know, so you guys can kind of see it, it. I don't know when it's going to come. You know what I mean? I don't know what time. So I'll, that's right. I can't even do the 20 minute before because I don't want to make the customer wait 20 minutes. So. I'm going to, yeah, you guys just have to put the notification on, bros. And let me see if I can come up with a schedule to do some lives like once a week at a certain time every every week, okay? You subscribe to Yelp ads, do you pay? Dude, uh, unless you have um, enough Yelp reviews, maybe like 20, then you can do some Yelp ads. Yeah, I, when I first started my business, I did, I had like 23 reviews and I paid Yelp, you know, for six months. The first, I'm not lying, dude, the second day, I got a call from a dentist, and that dentist had five offices. I ended up making $1,500 from that one call, and that paid for the whole six months of Yelp ads, bro. Do, uh, when do we know the lives are going to be? You, you subscribe to Yelp ads. All right. Where do, where do you send your Microsoft Network to? I do my own, you know, uh, except for when it's stuff that I never done, like the face ID and stuff like that. I don't like to touch with that. I don't. I haven't spent too much time working on that. So I have a couple of sources that are in the group. Um, I'll give you one right now. Uh, SoCal Text. You can send it to them. They're in. Um, I think it's a Montebello. You know, tell them you you uh, you were referred by nine one one gadgets. All right, so that he can hook me up. <laughs> How does replacing the whole phone work? Where do you send your money? How does replacing a whole phone work? You just buy them a brand new phone, bro. For example, if I break their face ID and they really just, no, I want my face ID. I need a new phone. You get their old phone. You plug it into iTunes. You back up all their stuff. You get the new phone. You plug it in and restore it onto there. And how does it work? Well, you just have to cough up the money, bro. Without the customers, you don't have a business. Without the customer, you don't have your house. You can't pay your rent, you know? So sometimes you got to own up to it, you know, and there's just sometimes that really you don't know what happened. Like it does. You don't know if you broke it, but actually you go through, you know, you look at the traces and nothing's torn. So sometimes it's just the, the phone, bro. You know, if you don't see any tears, you can't just buy them a new phone. It could have been the phone, bro. A lot of times the, these they're bringing you a broken phone, right? It has a hard impact. So, you know, there, there's a lot of things that could have gone wrong. So. So you guys also take care of yourselves, man. Don't don't get taken advantage from customers, you know, or by customers. All right, I am Audis. Uh, for the guys who, who for the people who tuned in, I really appreciate it, man. I'm here for you guys. Next time, um, we don't know what repair I'm gonna be doing, but so yeah, I'll see you guys in the next live. And if you don't have the curriculum. Go to the uh, go to nine one gadgets dot com forward slash cell phone repair training. Get the thirty nine dollar one, and um, 
and I'll see you in the group and you guys can ask me anything there. You know, we're, we have a community. I think it's like 180 people now. So I love it, man. Thank you guys. I love you guys too for, you know, tuning in. How do you deal with customers that are dicks? <laughs> Sometimes I'm mean back to them, bro, honestly, but it just depends, you know. If they're being mean, you know, I try to be as professional as possible. And it's just, if they're just so mean, like, I'm like, forget it, you know. Like, you're being too mean, bro. I don't need this. Sorry, you know. Peace out. <clears throat> we'll talk more about that later. All right, guys. Stay safe. Wear your masks. Wear your gloves. Take your alcohol with you. Spray yourself. <laughs> and, uh... We'll see you guys on the next one, brothers. Thank you so much. Go subscribe to my music channel, uh, Amrel Music. Um, I need some subscribers there. I don't know. You guys might not want to see that, but it's cool. I just want, you know, subscribers on there. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace out. All right, mid-sell. Peace. Thank you.